Hi and welcome to Dabby Dabby Girl Talk, I'm Coral. I'm Ashley. And today we're reviewing the rule from the 20th of July. Mm. Yes, day after Battleground. Yeah. And, um... No one's really that hyped up about Battleground. No, not really. Undertaker was there though. He kicked off Raw this time. And he spoke. Yeah, it was a bit different. That's it was a bit fine. different. Uh, he basically stared, stared, <laughs> said that Brock Lesnar... Uh, has reminded him of defeating Undertaker week after week because he brags about it. Thing is, Brox isn't there week after week, let's face it. So, mm. um, and Taker says basically going to make Brock Lesnar rest in peace. He's going to put an end to it all once and for all. Yeah. Uh, and then that's the end, really. Triple H then shown backstage about how big Lesnar and Taker would be at SummerSlam. Basically, it's a plug, really, for them, their match is going to be. And he said that if Lesnar shows up in the same building as The Undertaker, they need to stop it because they don't want them to kill themselves before SummerSlam, basically. Because it's their money making moment. Yeah. It's just both. Like, in business terms, he's quite right. Yeah. I think they kind of tried to make it a conniving little thing. Mm. But in business terms, that's right. Yeah. Keep your money tight because that's going to be the selling point. Yeah. Very true. What happened to the sting? Don't know, it's disappeared, didn't it? Yeah. So pointless bringing him in. Yeah. Well, he got on a game. Yeah. He gets a bit of money. Well, Stone Cold's this year's. Yeah. Is. It's like, why are you using people that are not there anymore yeah. to sell a game? It shows that they haven't got any actual one that can sell it. Yeah. I feel like Bray was on it one year, wasn't he? Was Bray on it? Don't know, John Cena was. Yeah, jo- no, it was John Cena. Randy Orton? No, it was the- Randy Orton's been on it. CM Punk's been on it. And then it just goes back round to John Cena. Yeah. Seamus might have once actually. Was Triple H on one? Yeah. yeah. The Rock would have been on it. Yeah, The Rock's been on one. I think Batista's been on one. Yeah, too. I think so. Yeah, I don't get my Stone Cold. They're like, you can play with Stone Cold. Okay. <laughs> I still have barely played 2K15. <laughs> too oh. complicated. They make yeah, it so hard. I don't understand the controls. Uh, but <laughs> Not them. <laughs> no, my voice has got caught in my, my throat. <laughs> I don't know what that was. We had Brie with Charlotte. Why do we keep home Brie? I don't care. Yeah. I really don't care. Which is awful. Um, Brie's not good. No. She can't keep up. No. Charlotte beat her with the figure eight. Mm-hmm. Nikki's not happy. Is Nikki like injured? Is that why she's not in? Well, apparently she's got a dislocated shoulder, but she does get in the ring sometimes. So yeah. that's okay. But yeah, that's, that was that really. It was quite a short one, but yeah, I didn't really enjoy it. Well, Charlotte couldn't do much really, could she? No, she was very limited in what she could do. Yeah, left to it. I'm okay at the moment, thank you. Right, face now. <laughs> a limited edition white one. Are you really going to sit there and eat it while we're talking? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, it's stuck in my throat, so I'm going to get it gone. Carry on. <laughs> oh, Triple H is back today, talking to Paul Heyman. Um, uh, about Brock and uh, Miz tries to butt him mm-hmm. and uh, Miz says Big Show messed him up and he shouldn't be left alone you know why should he be able to do this and Miz says he wants justice but Triple H then books him in a match against Big Show this evening and then he's like with my face <laughs> that was quite funny <laughs> in a way okay. wait in my face you complained and then you don't want to do it yeah but Got a promo of Triple H, so I guess he's happy. <laughs> um, they had lost Matadora as first prime time players. Boring. I don't know why this was a match. It didn't mm. make sense. Uh, I don't know why prime time players are champs. No, I, they're not. They're not good I'm, ones. I'm, yeah, I'm questioning their ability to even be a tag team. Yeah, yeah, no. they're not. No. Oh. Knew they come flying out from somewhere, and uh, it just struck the whole thing, and then. That distracts Titus O'Neil. So, Lost McDoras win. Bit random. Yeah. Hi. Didn't see the point. We then had Big Show versus The Miz. It was not long. Mm. I mean, Big Show literally just punched him in the face after a few chops to the chest. Miz had a very red chest. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, he just punched him in the face and that was that, really. Exciting. Yeah, nothing to <laughs> much to say about that. We get through his really far. I know. <laughs> um, then we have some dude showing Triple H painting. 
don't know why. I don't remember this part. Yeah, it's like an abstract painting. And uh, Paul Hayne walks in. And he's saying that, you know, Paul Heyman's here to make a statement on Brock Lesnar's behalf and that they will leave. But obviously, Stephanie and Triple H don't trust that. Oh, yeah, I remember this part. And they decide they need security in the locker room to uh, stop the whole thing. So they get all their other staff. <laughs> yeah. Um, then Paul Heyman actually comes out of the ring after he just said he's going to leave, which <laughs> kind of defeats the purpose of it. How does he get on stage? How does his music play? He doesn't. He just walks out. Oh, I swear music. Yeah, music. No, he just walks out in silence. Oh. And Lillian Garcia is like, please welcome Paul Heyman. <laughs> it's very weird. Um, yeah, he's about to take a, a background, you know. Um, Taker's going straight to hell because Brock's going to kick his ass like he did when he beat the streak. Um, I like Undertaker already. You can't kill something that's already dead. <laughs> True. Very true. And uh, Heyman's talking about some shit about Paul, uh, about him, not himself. <laughs> but the Undertaker went the hero dong, and uh, the lights all go out. Mm-hmm. And Paul Heyman's face looks petrified before the lights go out. He's like, shit. Mm. Undertaker's there, and then Brock Lesnar comes around now. But the thing is, what annoyed me is Undertaker jumped <laughs> when Brock Lesnar's music played. Did you not know that? Yeah, he like jumped back, and I was like, well, that defeats the purpose of <laughs> you trying to look tough. Um, I think it just scared him because it's quite loud. Yeah, <laughs> um, he's old. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> um, they he's not that old, though, is he? He's 50. <laughs> yeah. So they had like a uh, started fighting basically in the whole locker room and security come out. Now I feel like that was quite old school though. It was old school, but it was. No. It wouldn't take all those people to stop you. Yeah. <laughs> like it was so un- unreal, like not believable. Mm. Um, so yeah. So basically, they managed to fight, and then they took the fight backstage later on. But we'll talk about that later on when it comes up. No, it comes up now. Yeah, they also brought in. They just carried on, and you see, Brock Lesnar getting tired of those. Cable ties. Oh yeah, I've got a funny. And because that's what they do in America, don't they? They really need to get out of them. Is it? I saw a video on the internet. Like that. And you have to get your elbows to your hips. I don't think I can do it because my hips are quite low. But if you do it, like, oh you like, like, like they yeah. come on down there. Yeah. Mm. Um, why are you watching that on YouTube? No, I think they have on Facebook. Oh right, I'm not sure. Um, a video somewhere, you know, it just plays. Yeah, like, you're like. Hmm. I like, oh, um, really wanted to try. No, <laughs> well, we'll get some cable ties for next time. <laughs> um, yeah, and you know, they're like, I'm gonna kill you. Is that the bit you're talking about? It's like, I'm gonna kill you. Can't kill someone who's already dead. I think so. He had, yeah. he had a microphone. Oh, this is backstage, it's talking back. Oh, I think it's at the beginning then. Oh. Uh, you can't kill someone that's already, already dead. dead. Yeah. He said it at some point. Yeah. Yeah, and then that yeah, stops. Then Seth Rollins walks into the curtain room, the authority's office, and talks about, he's laughing about them getting kicked out, you know, and he's going to go, you know, he's going to go to the ring and talk some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh my god, here we go. Um, we then have Roman Reigns versus Luke Harper and Dean and Bray were on the outside. I felt like this was very weird, having that on the yeah. outside. It defeats their whole... It's not like their characters to do that, is it? No. I just thought it was very strange. I mean... Well, I don't get it. The one opportunity moment you've got Roman Reigns to go against Bray Wyatt. You put him against the yeah. car <laughs> It is Dean's feud. <laughs> How many times have they said They don't fucking mention it from earlier, though. That's the thing. Yeah. They don't. They don't it's nearly it. a year ago now. Is it really? Oh, is it? Extreme Rules, were it? In TLC. Hmm. Hmm. Um. It's TLC as Christmas. This match... No, I weren't interested. I weren't interested. It, no, I can't remember any of it. It was just... Shit. Yeah. <laughs> I've just lost interest in the whole feud with them, really, to be honest. I've lost interest with a lot of WWE. It's yeah. been nice to not watch it for a few weeks, really, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. But, um... Basically... Harper, um, Bray, well, Bray interferes, and then Dean interferes, and everyone interferes, <laughs> and then uh, Wyatt retreats with Harper, makes him look weak. Um, 
But Roman Reigns technically won by DQ because it's all Roman Reigns can win by nowadays is DQ. Okay. He doesn't pin anyone anymore. No. <laughs> so for fuck's sake. I fucking learned to win or lose. We then had Seth Rollins coming out and talk about how everyone doubted him, but he's still the WWE champion. He won last night at Battleground. Yeah, he did. And, you know, Untaker up, showed up. Doesn't matter if he showed up. And then John Cena comes out and spoils it all. I mean, mm-hmm. why are we having this again? Well, John Cena, you were all right for a little while. But, but now, now you've pissed me off. <laughs> now you've done this again. And it's annoying. <laughs> so John Cena comes out and uh, says Lillian can leave, which is a bit <laughs> rude, I mean. I don't need to leave Shaq Mono. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Ron says that he probably just wants to make an open challenge, so he'll leave the ring for him. Okay, that's fair enough. And Steen's like, nah, stick around because we're champions on the be with today. Champions on the same night. We are and the champions. champions. And he says he defends his title with honour, but Ron doesn't. He just runs around scared and takes shortcuts. Do he very does, it's true. And doesn't deserve the title, but true. fine, whatever. And Ron says, seeing that. We'll let anyone take a shot. Um, and then Rollins tries to leave, but Cena says Rollins takes take a shortcut and then asks if Rollins is man enough to go face to face. And Rollins basically says, No, I'm going away. Go back stage. And we just know that at SummerSlam, if John Cena's nice gets better, it's going to be for a dual championship, isn't it? It's going in that way. Yeah. It's going to be John Cena. He'll have both. And that'll just piss yeah. me off even more. But then, it could Kevin be Kevin Owens get it. I can't see that happening. Kevin Owens is now with Cesaro in a feud, isn't he? Oh no, I want Kevin Owens to be champion. No, you did. It's too soon, Bobby. <laughs> He's the it's one to beat Brock. Brock. It's too soon, Bobby. He's the one to beat Brock Fair and Square. He's Bobby. Bobby. Just a... No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> now you're going to push him back down to LXD. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't have another Dingus match, which was nice. Hmm. It was Paige and Becky versus Naomi and Sasha Banks, and Naomi and Sasha Banks were a good tag team. Hmm. I thought they worked well together. I was mm. quite surprised. Mm. But it makes sense why they're now f- a three. Yeah. Well, to me, was, oh, what was that purpose? I don't think she does anything. That's the annoying thing. I think she could be good. Yeah. But she just doesn't do anything. She just kind of stands looking angry. Occasionally she says three words. Uh, so I could do that. Yeah. I could, yeah. could do that. I could do that. But the thing is, when she says the three words, they're, well, they're quite well presented, but I can't figure out if she's a good speaker. Because she doesn't say enough. Yeah. I feel like she could, though. Yeah. She doesn't say anything, though. Yeah. She's a good kick a lot of people, no, she just doesn't do that either. No, she stands there looking a bit like. Don't want to be here. Yeah. Why am I here? Don't she looks know. like. You know, like if you watch a film and there's always a woman in the background. It's a little bit butch that kind of stands there and with the men like... Yeah, like in a gang film, yeah. She's that. Yeah. I feel like she should be in films instead. Yeah, true. She'd do great in films. She'd get paid a lot of money. But it was a good match that they yeah. had with Naomi and Sasha with Paige and Becky. And I was glad that Naomi and Sasha Banks won. Yes. I thought they deserved it more. To be yeah. They, they don't get the credit. Ever since Paige came back, Naomi really hasn't got the credit. No, she's done really well. Yeah. We shouldn't discredit her for that. Yeah. Um... Renee's with Lana backstage after the match and Dolph's waiting to get cleared before he can return. He's waiting to finish his filming, basically. What film's he doing? You know? I don't know. Mm. And Summer Rae shows up looking like Lana, basically. Cringe. Do you know what? You're not even watching films lately. You can watch all the WWE films. Oh, yeah. I might do that. I don't know. I don't know if I can stand it. I've got the Marine. Is it the Marine that I bought? I can't remember. I feel like we can't discuss one. every single time. It's yeah. the Marine, I think. I bought one and the other one's recorded on TV. Um, and, yeah, she basically taunts Lana saying how good she looks. Then Rusev shows up and saying he's prepared, prepared for his match, but Lana looks tired. She looks sleepy. Um, Summer slaps Lana and then walks away. Looks too. Yeah. So they seem to do nowadays. Mm-hmm. Then had the main event. Main event. Main event. Main event. Main it was John Cena, Randy Orton, Cesaro, but shown with Kevin Owens and Rusev. Boring. Um, yeah. <laughs> it was. <laughs> it was not very good. Um, no. Not fun at all. I mean, Kevin Owens walked away again, which was annoying. Yeah, he starts to piss me off. I really like Kevin Owens. I feel like it's not him doing it. I feel like it's the actual company. Yeah. I don't know why this keeps happening, it's kind of annoying. Um, I don't know if because he's here and the crowd is rooting for him on Cena. Yeah. And obviously, Cena's Vince McMahon's bum boy, I don't know. Yeah. 
Hmm. Well, Seamus walked out first. It was his fault. He's <laughs> minding the bank and he walked out of the match, which isn't very good. He had enough. He's like, fuck this. And then Kevin Owens walked out before... Didn't he kick someone in the face? He kicked Rusev in the face, didn't he? Yeah. Get into an argument. <coughs> yeah, he kicks him in the face. And Cesaro, um, Randy Orton and John Cena beat up Rusev basically and win. I don't get why Randy Orton's all the same with John Cena though. Yeah. That part makes no sense. Me- they're meant to be having like a 10 year feud. I know. Now they're on the same team. Yeah. I'm not even sure the commentary even mentioned that. They might have. No, I don't think they did. I don't think they did. No. no. But apparently there's a legendary feud is now forgotten. Yeah. Makes sense. Um. Yeah. Uh, no. Shit. Yeah, it wasn't a good draw, was it? No. I I think the only thing I'm interested in at the moment is the Divas. Yeah, I was glad to have two Divas matches. Yeah. That was good. Sorry, we were there. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was a cup and I was like, you've got water everywhere. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah, Divas is the only thing really going at the moment that's keeping me... Mm. I actually stop what I'm doing when, when the Divas come on yeah, and yeah. watch it. Whereas the males at the moment, they're just so... Not bothered. Yeah, they're not bothered. Mm. Very yeah. annoying. Mm. Yeah, what should we write? Do you know? No good Divas much. Two? Yeah. Yeah. Right, two. Two. Okay. two. Okay, well, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, retweet, retumble, follow us. Sub us. Yeah. Promise to sub. If you're watching this, click that sub button. Please. Right now. In three, two, two, one. Goodbye.